to welcome you to another session of Just a Podcast. As always, I'm your host with the most, they call me Timothy. I think uh, we should commercialize that. As always, I'm your host with the most, they call me Timothy. It's a trademark. I think we need to earn from that, eh? apart from earning from the podcast. Just joking. I hope your week has been nice. <laughs> uh, today in the studio, I have a guest with me. We had a session with her, so she's not quite a visitor, but when you are in Africa, you are going to Kwanza, you are Pili, you are Tatu, you are going So leo na mpea jembe ya kalime. Usishangai na setup. The setup we've tried to modify it a bit. Thanks to me, the creative director. I don't say. Do I say? No, but uh, I'd like to welcome you to another session of Just a Podcast. As you remember, we had a session with her on mental illness. We let her introduce the topic of the day and she'll be handling the entire session. So I hope we mwenye ukwapo nyumbani, take your time, take your few minutes and enjoy the session and share. So... Thank you. Hi guys, John here. It's another session of mental health and today we will be talking about gender-based violence. Thank you. According to the standard definition of gender-based violence, actually, it's any act mm -hmm. uh, impacted upon a person, be it physical, mental mm -hmm. or psychological. Okay. Yeah. I'm saying this because, uh, and that's why I invited you again mm -hmm. to spearhead this session because I do understand from the last session that you've been a victim of frequent gender-based violence, yeah? And uh, how you've managed to come through out of it a whole, as a whole being, uh, it eludes me. I don't actually know how you managed. So I'd like you, maybe in a few, maybe in, a, in like two minutes, you, you give us your short version. Um, I walked out. Mm. Yeah, mental torture was there, physical torture was there. But the most part in Najwa Elini affects Sana was the mental one. Yeah. Because Najwa Sasa in a, in a jetach kwa kili. And also it affects you physically. Mm. Because most of the time when I'm sick, self-esteem okay. goes down. Goes eh? down yeah. So uh, self-esteem iki enda chini, yato unapata unanza kujidharao. Yeah. Then ukurudi kwa nyumba, unapata the same thing happens. So inakuwa, inakuwa, inajirudia each and every time. Yeah. So as for me, what I can say, it was not easy. Yeah. But finally, when I was referred to a psychiatrist, and right now, but do. So let me get this clear. Yeah. What do you think was the cause? Was it social economic cause or uh, social economic? Maybe if you could expand on that. First of all, peer yeah. pressure from his friends. Yeah. Because at that time he was young. He was so young, and peer uh, me was so young. Yeah. So na just ani le peer pressure ni umeo mapema and everything. Yeah. And also social economic. You look in a lead sana, sana, sana. As for him, he had a job. But as for me, I was just in the house. So, na pata labda, akiwa job, ali kwa stress zake. Then will come, he would come at home, akiwa na stress zake, anze kuni. Yeah. And then me, I was so stressed. In the first place, the trauma you've not healed. Yeah. And then the person, badu wana kuletea vitu zake. Si se me, I was so perfect. But That's at okay. least, yeah. I tried. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it was like this guy was trying to prove something to the, to his bunch of friends. Yes. Maybe he was hanging out with the wrong type of friends. Sincerely, sincerely speaking, the friends, peer pressure. So this one time yeah. uh, after Nimejifungua, maybe it was four months. Yeah. She was, yeah, four months, four months old. Uh, I met him with one guy. He mm. was a Maasai. I came to story of the baby. And I remember that night, that night, Alini Gong. Actually, that, that guy was my friend. Okay, you are Okay, okay, okay. Now, wali kwa wanongia na ye, imagine him. What? Ali wana discuss, na ye kwa tuwa kwa nisimamu. He's proud. He's so proud. Imagine, ata yosi ikuisha kaja ni pigas love. Now, I knew the peer pressure. Ali kwa nisikuza vila watu mingina wana sema, then ana niletea kwa nyumba. And as for me, me, I didn't know. Because, yeah. mini likuwa najua, ata kuja change. But wapi, mm -hmm. sasa alikuwa na kuwa was. And also sasa unajua po mtu wakipata pesa pride. Then madame. Yeah. So also the nini cheating pia ilikuwa na, ilikuwa pia inafanya pia kwa environment in a way. Because he knew of course I have ladies out there. Uwe kia nanta pata wengine so. And considering where you are living actually yes, it was I'm a Porsche area. So, so you, you don't have anywhere to go. Yeah. Because of the rejection that I had. Yeah. Mainly yours was physical violence, yeah? And mental. Nagi kind of mental, yeah. Uh, there are different types of 
uh, gender violences kuna hiyo physical violence kuna sexual harassment kuna psychological violence kuna um, verbal violence there are many forms of violence we cannot exhaust them but mainly ile nyenye jionesha at the current times that we are living in ni online gender online based gender violence yeah mostly i think it's kind of cyber bullying yeah cyber bullying people get a, a hold of your photo and then mm. they start sharing online mm. sio ni makosa mtu akiwa mnono ama akiwa mkonda ama akiwa ugly ama whatever they say beauty is in the eye of, be, of the beholder and i believe eh, body shaming god eh, i believe god is just a little a little mba venye tuko sorry to say this but zingine you have to ignore If you live sijuki angalia trolls me remember there was this one time nilikuwa na agencies and mtu akani troll na kaniambia sijui junior like this sijui why are you slaving me ah there are some things as he this kusumbua kile but sasa because of the trauma kuna watu sasa trauma imewaingia kabisa so unapata he or she is so fragile like ambao watu kitu ana fail sasa sasa kuji kujidharau ama sasa unaanza sana ku cheat tena okay because you want a higher life yeah. Uh, domestic violence is bad because unapata most of the cases that we have the teen pregnancies mm-hmm. they are domestic mm-hmm. maybe the the parents are not aware the the mother is not aware uh, and mostly it happens with men yeah. men sleeping with their daughters and then oh, unapata when 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 uh, when uh, the mother asks about it is that that's where the violence comes in i have a very crucial thing i remember I'm using my example it a encourage. So uh, I remember there was this time um, I was going through rejection also. So I, I decided to isolate myself. So uh nikiwa teenager nikiwa from two hapo. There was this guy. His name staki kumtaja kwa kamera. Uh alianza kutusimama ngo vita alikuwa anatumia messages because ni alikuwa anamkata team. So akaanza kutusimama ngo and i remember hiyo kitu mpaka wa leo bado ina ni stab na sanganika na stabiwa you know um akaanza kutusimama mangu and everything because of stigma yeah. that was a stigma to me ju aliona aya ju na naji anaje isolate so akaanza ku stigmatize akienda kiambia watu wengine ati ata june sijui the mama na kuanga hivi na hivi na hivi yeah. trust me up to now up to now and i'm 20 i'm turning 24 next next month mpaka saizi whatever that guy is may god 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 will forgive my mom passed on i've never shared this but i'll tell you for free whatever i went through only to see my mom and also your friend alikuwa na bestie mwingine alikuwa anaitwa charles charles mm-hmm. passed on mm-hmm. he, he mwaka aligongwa na pikipiki alitu si sister yangu my late sister my late sister ali ali pass na hiyo machungu bado trust you me sama kuka na so, so. mimi what i say wa, wa, mbona uingilia wazazi wa mtu why why do you do, do that because of labda vile sisi we were so poor at that time because of labda what we were going through na kwa mtu mwenye una what size cases kama hizo zikukujia ukipata ma messages kama hizo you just report size kuna low hiyo time miss kuko na uwezo because my mom alikuwa mnyonge but now we just report if kama ukipata case kama hiyo you just contact Also, so it's like it was a social economic violence because uh, they they using your state where you are current you, yeah, you were back yeah. then remember, to judge I, you mm-hmm, i remember he used to tell me that guy ati ata unarudi unashinda go merudi ngo moja vile nyinyi kuno ni maskini that thing hurts so it, it it brought about psychological torture mental torture mpaka sasa hizi i think it does you mistake um, yeah you are, you are a kid actually na a kid has a very sharp mind um, so it never gets off it's all one day you know i'll heal but Yeah, you are healing actually. Okay. Um <laughs> Jun, what what I'm trying to tell you is uh, try to let it go and just let God deal with it, yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, use it as something positive. Yeah. And build your fellow your fellow girlfriends. Uh actually let us go on a short break and when we come back we'll be wrapping up the session. Yeah if you want more we'll be having more sessions with this beautiful lady up here but let's go on a short break don't touch the dial just a podcast
Could we just roam the earth till time forgets about the many million stars I forgot to count? Is it okay if I just whisper in your ear on a Could you tell me what you did today for fun? On the clouds above, did you write o'er the sun? Or did you hear a prayer from anyone, anywhere? On a For us, that word, narcissistic. Narcissism. In a takawa to work or show no limits. Okay, narcissism. <laughs> narcissism. Na- Who's a narcissist first? A narcissist ni mtuwana jipenda sana. Mtuwana jipenda. Mm-hmm. A selfish person. Pa- <laughs> selfish person, sorry. <laughs> I'm African, so you don't understand. Um, a selfish person. Very selfish. Okay. Mtuwana jipenda, mtuwana unani kama koja wengine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, himself or herself. 
in the first place always priority priority yes. it's not bad to to prioritize yourself but why mbona ujipende yes it's good to depend on everything but mbona that on to mwingine okay okay, okay. so that that's the spicing my, another person yeah. at you because you are high i do understand i'm i'm a narcissist now oh. that you've defined it okay, uh, but you are. listen listen <laughs> but narcissist are bad so. listen to me yeah what i'm saying is uh, i'm a narcissist in this way yeah I'm an assertive narcissist. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not an aggressive narcissist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what people don't understand is it's good to be selfish, to have some self-love. Of course. Not to be that Everyone selfish does. yourself. Everyone yeah. Does. But you you do understand eh, where to draw the line. Yeah? You know I love myself, but when it comes to that extent that I start loving myself too much and start despising other people. Mm-hmm. Now that's toxic. Yeah. That's yeah. bad. Mm-hmm. That's being an aggressive uh, an assertive narcissist. When it comes to being an aggressive narcissist mm-hmm. is when you think you're always right. Mm-hmm. You always you are the existing gender actually. Nobody exists. So you are the first and you're the last. Mm-hmm. And you don't consider others. So that's a bit of life skills. I bet we'll have a a, a life skill educate on this session one day you have to yeah. take through all that yeah uh jun mm-hmm. as we are coming to the to the end of the show uh, uh, on ad- addition yeah on addition yeah narcissists they when i depend on love they compete okay they compete with okay. from experience blair ni mona most of them are they co- they tend to compete with people you know cause mats ana kongliko ama kiona you doing better than him or her at a scale with they are very jealous people yeah, 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 yeah. so that is a yeah, point I'll, to not down yeah i'll not that i don't have my pet now so okay <laughs> but i'll not down mm-hmm. uh, i tend to understand that there was this mural actually i think it was um, it was in greece or something in italy uh, they say where the the name narciss- narcissism mm-hmm. came from eh? there was this person who really loved to look at his image in the mirror too much mm-hmm. uh, up to one day one day he died looking in the mirror mm-hmm. you stare at your image you think your image is too beautiful you can't get your eyes off of it mm-hmm. until one day you forget about everything you focus on your image and then you die when you get some time you as a viewer go and review that story now we have we have everything we have the world on our hands thanks to technology so go and view that story i'd like you to give us some nuggets to talk about stuff that you think we've uh, we've left out in our talking you know we're just humans maybe we've left out some important stuff but mark you this is just a continuation of the mental health pro- podcast we had indulge us on something maybe we forgot to mention give us the reference people what uh, wapo nyumbani wakiwa na cases such cases give us the reference numbers uh, give us your contact details where people can find you physically or on socials and uh, any other stuff that we've forgotten so uh, guys um, most of you uh, have been trying to reach me and uh, I, have, I have so many cases about gender based violence but different versions you know what i mean rape uh mental torture and everything now what i'll be what i'm doing currently um it depends with your case i'll refer you to a gender based violence um desk desk yeah. and uh if it's that serious if you traumatized i'll refer you to a psychiatrist or a psychologist yeah. now um if you're going through any kind of gender based violence reach out to 1195 it's a gender based violence hot number Yeah and also uh if you reach if you reach me my social media handles Instagram Jun Motoni Facebook Jun Motoni and also uh subscribe to my YouTube channel Jun Motoni official my number iko hapo after my story number yangu iko hapo call me or text me then we will know what to do Yeah, also also subscribe subscribe to just a pod oh just a pod <laughs> <laughs> subscribe uh next time pia tutaendelea na hii mambo ya gender based violence yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and so, so actually tell the viewers next time we'll be talking about feminism and chauvinism feminism and chauvinism, chauvinism. yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and the domestic violence and the domestic yeah. violence and yeah. nazism guys
it's always been a blessing to host such wonderful guests and i always appreciate it it's not like i do not appreciate educative guests who who will take you through some stuff that you're going through and you're not yet aware of them all i'm trying to do is to raise awareness out here because all of us are going through something so i don't want to ignore the fact and just focus on material stuff and whatever so next time as you've heard from our precious guest june here is that we'll be talking about feminism feminism versus chauvinism so go and research on that uh, so anytime you feel like we are going off topic you're free to comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscription button and the like button and it's always nice to share yeah if you feel like you you've been touched share if you feel like you've, you've not been touched that's because you've never under, underwent this stuff so don't like and don't share i'm just being honest from the bottom of my heart guys i'd love to say thank you family and until next time